Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss another portion of MCQs of Medical Laboratory Technology. The questions are taken from various examinations of Medical Laboratory Technologists and Technicians. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe. Question number 1. In VDRL test, serum is heated at 56 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes to Option A. Destroy troponins Option B. Inactivate the antibody Option C. Inactivate the complement Option D. To destroy contaminants The correct answer is Option C. To inactivate the complement In VDRL test, serum is heated at 56 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes to inactivate the complement Question number 2. In RPR testing, option A complement inactivation is not required. Option B macroscopic flocules are formed. Option C plasma can be used. Option, option D all the above are correct. Which of the following statement is true regarding RPR testing? The correct answer is option D all the above are correct. Complement inactivation is not required. Macroscopic flocules are formed and plasma can be used. Question number 3. Fluorescent dye used in fluorescent triponymal antibody absorption test is Option A. Acridine orange Option B. Rhodamine Option C. Oramine Option D. FITC or Fluorescine isothiocyanate Which of the following dye is used in FDA ABS test? The correct answer is Option D. FITC that is fluorescein isothiocyanate. Question number 4. Antigen used to sensitize RBCs in triponymal hemagglutination test. Option A. Nicol strain. Option B. Lansfield strain. Option C. Reiter strain. Option D. Pertin strain. The correct answer is option A. Nicole Stray antigen used to sensitize RBCs in triponymal hemagglutination test is Nicole Stray that is a strain of triponema. Question number 5. Dark ground microscopy is required for interpreting. Option A. Fluorescent triponymal antibody absorption test. Option B. Triponema pallidum immobilization test. Option C. Triponema pallidum hemagglutination test. Option D. VDRL. Dark down microscopy is used for interpreting which of the following? The correct answer is option B. TPI or Triponema pallidum immobilization test. Question number 6. Standard agglutination test or SAT is for zero diagnosis of option A. Typhoid fever. Option B. Typhus fever. Option C. Brucella. Option D. Bacillus. The correct answer is option C. Brucella. SAT or standard agglutination test is used for the zero diagnosis of brucella. Question number 7. ASO test is an example of option A. Precipitation test. Option B. Neutralization test. Option C. Agglutination test. Option D. Complement fixation test. The correct answer is option B. Neutralization test. ASO test is an example of neutralization test. Question number 8. Streptococcal infections can be diagnosed by option A. Streptozyme test. Option B. Antihyaluronidase test. Option C. Anti-DNA B test. Option D. Oil. The correct answer is option D. Old. Streptococcal infections can be diagnosed by streptozyme test, anti hyaluronidase test and anti dna B test. Question number 9. Blocking antibodies in standard agglutination test are option A. IgM, option B. IgG, option C. IgG and IgA, option D. IgM and IgE. Which of the following is known as blocking antibodies in SAT? The correct answer is option C, IgG and IgA. Question number 10. Loose fluffy clumps are shown by option A, O-agglutinins, 
ऑप्शन बी एच अग्लूटनिन्स ऑप्शन सी ब्लॉकिंग एंटीबॉडीज ऑप्शन डी वी आई अग्लूटनिन्स लूज फ्लफी क्लम्प इन वाइडल टस्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एच अग्लूटनिन्स लूज फ्लफी क्लम्प आर शोन बै एच अग्लूटनिन इन वाइडल टस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन वी ई अग्लूटनिन आर् यूज टू डिटेक्ट ऑप्शन ए कैरियर्स ऑप्शन बी पास्ट इंफेक्शन ऑप्शन सी रिकरंट इंफेक्शन ऑप्शन डी रीसेंट इंफेक्शन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए कैरियर्स वी ई अग्लूटनिन इज यूज टू डिटेक्ट कैरियर्स ऑफ टाइफॉइड Question number twelve, which is true about viral reaction? Option A, antibodies to H antigen appear first and persist for long time. Option B, antibodies to H antigen appear last and persist for long time. Option C, antibodies to O antigen appear last and persist for long time. Option D, antibodies to H and O antigen appear simultaneously and persist. Which of the following statement is true about viral reaction? The correct answer is option B. Antibodies to H antigen appear last and persist for long time. Question number thirteen. Typhoid detection in a patient on antibiotics is by option A. Viral test. Option B. Blood culture. Option C. Fecal culture. Option D. Urine culture. The correct answer is option C. Fecal culture. Typhoid detection in a patient. On antibiotics is by fecal culture. Question number fourteen. Commercially available O antigen for viral test is option A blue colored, option B pink colored, option C green colored, option D white colored. The correct answer is option A blue colored. Commercially available O antigen for viral test is. Blue colored. Question number fifteen. VDRL test is a option A slide agglutination test, option B slide precipitation test, option C slide flocculation test, option D tube agglutination test. VDRL test comes under which of the following category? The correct answer is option C, slide flocculation test. VDRL test is done for syphilis and it is slide flocculation test. Question number sixteen, which is not a heterophile agglutination test? Option A, Streptococcus mg agglutination test. Option B, Rosweiler test. Option C, Paul-Bunnell test. Option D, Weil-Felix test. Which of the following test is not a heterophile agglutination test? The correct answer is option B, Rosweiler test. Rosweiler test is not a heterophile agglutination test. It is a test for rheumatoid factor. Question number seventeen. Antigens used in Weil's Felix test. Option A, Proteus vulgaris zero two. Option B, Proteus vulgaris zero nineteen. Option C, Proteus mirabilis zero k. Option D, all. Which of the following species of Proteus is used in Weil's Felix test? The correct answer is option D. All the following antigens are used in Weil's Felix test. Question number eighteen. Which is not a standard test for syphilis? Option A, VDRL test. Option B, RPR test. Option C, Wasserman test. Option D, TPI test. Which of the following is not a standard test for syphilis? The correct answer is option D, TPI test. Treponema pallidum immobilization test is not a standard test for syphilis. Question number nineteen. Rheumatoid factor is option A, IgM. Option B, IgG. Option C, IgE. Option D, IgA. 
the correct answer is option a igm rheumatoid factor is coming under igm Case number 20. Rose Valor test is used for the serodiagnosis diagnosis of option A rheumatoid arthritis, option B rheumatic fever, option C relapsing fever, option D typhoid fever. Rose Valor test is used for the serodiagnosis diagnosis of which of the following condition? The correct answer is option B rheumatic fever. Rose Valor test is used for serodiagnosis diagnosis of rheumatic fever. Question number 21. Anti-nuclear antibody or ANA is detected by option A CFT, option B neutralization, option C immunofluorescence, option D hemagglutination. Anti-nuclear antibody is detected by which of the following? The correct answer is option C immunofluorescence. Anti-nuclear antibody is detected by immunofluorescence. Question number 22. Cold agglutination test is for the serodiagnosis diagnosis of option A brucella, option B mycoplasma, option C chlamydia, option D rickettsia. Cold agglutination test is done for the serodiagnosis diagnosis of mycoplasma. The correct answer is option B mycoplasma. Cold agglutination test is for the serodiagnosis diagnosis of mycoplasma. Question number 23. Wheel Felix test is for the serodiagnosis diagnosis of option A typhoid fever, option B typhus fever, option C undulant fever, option D relapsing fever. Wheel Felix test is done for the serodiagnosis diagnosis of option B typhus fever. Question number 24. Flame cell is seen in option A chronic myeloid leukemia, option B multiple myeloma, option C chronic lymphoid leukemia, option D acute myeloid leukemia. Flame cell is seen in which of the following conditions? The correct answer is option B multiple myeloma. Flame cell is seen in multiple myeloma. Case number 25. Method of hemoglobin estimation usually done in blood bank is option A acid hematin method, option B alkali hematin method, option C specific gravity method, option D oxyhemoglobin method. Hemoglobin estimation in blood bank is done by specific gravity method. The correct answer is option C specific gravity method. Question number 26. The diluent used in cyanmeth hemoglobin method is option A Daisy's fluid, option B Turk's fluid, option C Toysen's fluid, option D Drapkin's solution. Diluent used for cyanmeth hemoglobin method is Drapkin's solution. The correct answer is option D Drapkin's solution. Diluent or diluting fluid used in cyanmeth hemoglobin method is Drapkin's solution. Question number 27. Which of the following has high affinity for oxygen? Option A. Fetal hemoglobin or HBF. Option B. Self hemoglobin or HBS. Option C. Adult hemoglobin or HBA. Option D. HBA2. The correct answer is option A. HBF. Fetal hemoglobin has high affinity for oxygen. Question number 26. Standard method for hemoglobin determination is option A. Salis method. Option B. Cyanmeth hemoglobin method. Option C. Specific gravity method. Option D. Oxyhemoglobin method. Which of the following is the standard method for HB determination? The correct answer is option B. Cyanmeth hemoglobin method. Cyanmeth hemoglobin method is the standard method for HB estimation. Question number 27. Solubility test is used for the diagnosis of option A fetal hemoglobin, option B self hemoglobin, option C fetal hemoglobin, option D meth hemoglobin. 
solubility test is done for the self hemoglobin the correct answer is option b self hemoglobin solubility test is used for the diagnosis of self hemoglobin question number 28 anti coagulant of choice for esr determination by westerdens method option a dabloxylate option b heparin option c edta option d trisodium citrate which of the anti following anti coagulant is the choice for esr the correct answer is option d trisodium citrate trisodium citrate is the anti coagulant of choice for esr determination by westergren's method so friends today we are winding up you can watch the previous videos from playlist and links are there in the description box you can watch from there also and don't forget to subscribe thank you